hi and welcome back to weekly photo memory today i'm using this beautiful hello pink autumn by prima i've used this a couple of weeks before i used this small one right here i picked up by kg crafts last season last um october or last uh, september august around that time but these colors are great because i don't want to use the oranges and blacks and stuff yet at least for these layouts i'm also using the ephemera and little odds and ends here that i think would work well so let's go ahead and get started i have my pictures printed and other ephemera that i cut out from the big 12 by 12 pack so this is the week of october 3rd to the 9th so let's get started of course using the washi tape I am just adding a little bit of flare and a little gold touch at the top and the bottom. This is a week that consisted of prepping because the following week would be homecoming. So this is kind of prepping little things here and there for that. What started at the beginning of the week uh, with my daughter. And right now what I'm simply doing is cutting off odds and end pieces scraps that I um, have from last time using this collection I'm just cutting little pieces apart to add again little touches of the colors here and there I really think this pumpkin paper is cute and it has butterflies and I love the touch of the teal so I'm just simply going to add my picture and a little bit of the pattern paper in the back so this is a picture of my daughter. We went dress shopping for homecoming and she had a goal of what she wanted, as you can see, of the dresses there on the, on the rack of what she was trying on, what she was looking for. She had a goal of what she wanted and we're going to have to wait and find out if she, um, to reveal if she found her ideal dress. But that's kind of what we did on Tuesday. Monday was get back to work, school, cheer kind of day. So Tuesday was looking for a dress. And we actually went in the evening when there was nobody around. Because it gets crazy here. Dress shopping. So that's that was Tuesday. On Wednesday, my husband works with a retired teacher. And she used to be a math teacher. And she said that she really misses the students and he told her well if you ever want two students my kids are more than willing to be there for you and she thought that was a great idea and so she is also tutoring um she is helping our kids understand geometry algebra 2 and she it looks it looks like she's taught them tricks and stuff to understand it better of um, better understanding the subjects and you know formulas and stuff like that so i'm really grateful for that because i am not a math person and my husband works so he can't sit down and having someone who's patient and works with kids is a blessing so i'm really glad for that on thursday if you remember if you recall my daughter's knee from cheer um she fell during a cheer stunt and her knee's been acting up so we finally got a call from the ortho and um, orthopedic doctor and so we went in for a consultation so they can see what's going on with her knee and that's Miss Daisy playing with the model of the knee actually and she was able to name all of the pieces in the knee because she has taken a um, anatomy class so she was kind of showing me when the doctor came in he did he definitely um, was impressed with her and her knowledge of the knee so that was fun and um, we did we are scheduled for a, an MRI later on so we'll keep posted on that and if any prayer warriors out there keep us in your prayers for my daughter's name that would be great and then on Saturday my son has been very obsessed with scary air quotes movies um, from the 1930s so we actually watched psycho with him and he had never watched it and he was very invested and it was a different kind of creepy and it was fun so we've been watching that while we were in the living room painting um 
some wood pieces and like an old Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein and stuff like that. So that was fun. And we just did some family time and watched scary movies. We watched Dracula, Frankenstein, and The Mummy, which was fun. And then on Sunday, my daughter got her homecoming proposal done um, at church, which was really nice because I was able to, we were there as a family and her boyfriend's family was there too and they were able to um to see their reactions and that was a lot of fun and he did a frozen theme which is cute because that's definitely her and it was a family project because his dad and his mom were in on it and they were really cute and um, able to help him and coordinate everything and it was really nice and then my husband and i we decided to go and um have a date while well, my kids had high school group on Sunday evening we went and we got a slice of pizza and that's the actual name of the restaurant slice and they had karaoke there and there was lots of families we didn't participate I didn't participate I'm so embarrassed I think if it was people I knew it would be better it would be more fun for me but I really enjoyed cheering on other people and the kids doing it it was a lot of fun I think I definitely want to go back to that and hang out with my family and do something that adventurous I'm not I, I don't know it makes me nervous <laughs> and if it makes me nervous I get anxiety and then it's not fun after that so I'm adding in all the ephemera pieces on here the pumpkin I cut a foliage piece flowers and leaves and then I saw that I actually inserted them upside down but it didn't matter because it, it looks pretty anyways and some flowers pumpkins I'm, I added in um, a puffy pumpkin there and then just adding exclamation marks and pin stickers to where I think it should be um, added I did add in um, some girly elements with the bows for my daughter and some uh, gold plus signs to add in a pop of uh, gold as well from the washi tape and later on I go back and I write in notes and little quotes and stuff like that for for what's going on and detail I don't ever show that because that's more personal for me and so um, I write in little notes and things that I I want the kids to remember when they look back at this and notes to my husband about how little date night went and stuff like that so it's this is a fun memory book that I'm creating and I really enjoy it it's relaxing and my kids actually watch it so shout out to my kids and my kids friends who watch this because they also like to in, enjoy watching this I guess so hi I'm waving at you through through sound and um it's a really nice way to for them to watch and see what the year looked like so I'm kind of looking trying to figure out if anything matches up with this but I'm I think I'm pretty much done I do end up adding a heart and a a word that says today on my daughter's picture because that was the day that we were we were excited to finally be able to see the doctor and see what he has to say and it wasn't all too good she's she has to sit down from cheering for a while but not cheer captain duties and she's still kind of like a coach there so that's good but for my daughter i do my heart does go out to her for the moment but um i know it's for her for her health for for her well-being but other than that, this is my layout. I really liked the colors this week because it is getting into fall um, kind of vibes and not the orange yet. But thank you for stopping by and watching. Until next time, bye!